I remember before I even started YouTube, I recorded my first commercial for a beauty company. My wife and I, we we got all this camera gear because we were really deep into videos and I had fun recording that commercial and I never thought that I should start a YouTube channel, but my wife convinced me. She convinced me to show my studio tour, my home studio tour. So I showed my home studio in 2016 and it was the best decision I ever made because I've met you guys. What's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my home studio. I am your host, Archie Beats. And today Today we're discussing how I film my YouTube videos. Over the past, I say five years or so, I've seen a lot of changes in the pro audio space, the music production space, and the content creation space. Everything has joined, which is an awesome thing. And if you guys like stuff like this, please comment below. So we're gonna break this video up into three parts. We're gonna discuss the my camera and the audio, and basically the AV signal feed, the audio video signal feed. You wanna get some good quality when you're capturing your presentation. And shout out to all the music producers and engineers that take time to create these amazing videos, these beautiful videos in this space. I'm really enjoying that. And then we're gonna discuss my lighting, how I light my videos, basically what you see here. And then we have some parts that we change in and out, but we're gonna discuss that as well. And then we're gonna go to the on-screen computer. How do I color my videos? What's the process? What do I edit on and things like that. And for time purposes, I won't be including how I film my B-roll because that is a whole different beast, like the spin shots, the slider shots we're gonna talk about that in another video so subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you won't miss those updates as well but before we get started we would like to thank today's sponsor which is Sweetwater Sound. Sweetwater Sound is the number one destination for all the gear a content creator needs. Not only is Sweetwater your best choice for musical instruments and pro audio but now Sweetwater carries an impressive selection of cameras, lighting, microphones, stabilizers, and editing software and much much, much more and I completely understand this because we used to just be in the studio but now we are on camera we are educating people we're allowing people to come into our world of music creation and pro audio just creating amazing content around sound and music it's great that Sweetwater has done this so be sure to check out Sweetwater Sound down below and also if you take a look at this setup right here the SM7B right here in the Roadcaster this is the go-to podcast setup of the industry right now the top podcasters use this setup right here so if you're interested in this setup be sure to check the description below as well first up is my camera which is the black magic 6k pro i love this camera as i mentioned i am a film composer i've scored and composed shows the entire season one of bad escorts starring daystorm king batch on the zeus network and i also scored the 2019 t-mobile coachella commercial and i'm really into cinema i kind of wanted my videos to look more cinematic and not have the typical mirrorless camera look. I just love the look of a cinema camera. This is about a thousand dollars cheaper than most mirrorless camera, um, really expensive cameras on the market. This is $2,500 um, for the body. When I purchased this camera, I also had to buy extra accessories such as the hard drive. For some strange reason, only the T5 works with it and the cards that go with this is so expensive. We're not gonna even get into that. But the Samsung T5 works perfectly. And I purchased the Tilta Blackmagic 6K Pro kit to go around it so it can hold the hard drive and I can attach everything to it just like with my Andy Sand 4K monitor that I have attached to the top here. Also the grip on the side. It just works really well for my situation. Now to the audio. Whenever I'm trying to articulate something or to show detail in something, I use something like my Norman U87 here or my Loughton Audio that you guys see hanging up here, Atlantis or Clarion. Those are condenser microphones that require phantom power and they just sound extra crisp, clear. They're really sensitive and they pick up a lot of details in the vocals. So whenever I'm trying to do something vocal wise, I do it on those type of microphones. And then the next thing is, as you guys saw before in the B-roll, is that this is the SM7B. It's perfect it's the ideal podcast microphone period around the clock around the world is one of the most trusted microphones and also the universal audio sd1 amazing microphone I use it more than any dynamic microphone here in my home studio. It's just a great detailed microphone. So I have everything listed down in the description below. This is more expensive. This is $3,500. These are 300, 400 bucks. And as you can see, there's a big difference, but these microphones, the dynamic podcast style microphone are 
the go-to microphone in any voiceover podcast space. So if you're doing YouTube videos and you want to have that kind of sound, these will work best for you. They can take a lot and they also just sound great and get that boomy broadcast voice and podcast voice that we all love. I like to have complete control over my audio because of course I'm an engineer, so I'm going to go kind of crazy with that stuff. So I, we go from here to my Apollo Twin X. I do have an audio interface sitting here on my system and it's plugged into my um, Apple MacBook Pro um, M2. It goes from the left and right out and to my Tascam DR60D Mark II four track portable recorder um, for DSLRs. This is the only way over years, I've been doing this for a while. This is the only way I'm able to get complete control of my audio going from my audio interface, low noise, it sounds great. And I'm also able to do on-screen tutorials and record my camera feed, take everything into the camera and the audio is just clear and we can use the audio from the camera. My camera have 48 volts and like many XLR connectors on it, but I don't really trust it yet. I'm still moving through all of this and just knocking out content for you guys, but this worked just well. And it goes from the Tascam and to my black magic you guys see that the av signal chain there and to the microphone input on there and we've set the levels properly it's going to change depending on what your settings are your levels what's going on in your audio interface what sound you prefer so all of that stuff different and to each is its own if you guys have any questions about it and you guys want some help just comment at the bottom of this video and we'll get you some help and now let's talk about lighting i have a very simple lighting setup i know it looks complicated but there is really not, not a three point or any type of hair lights or anything like that, but I have a key light right here. And that key light is actually the Godox, the 60 SL60. And I have this small rig softbox right here that that's perfect. I also have the grid Velcroed in to give it that look because it, I just like the way it looks. I like the way it feels not too bright, not too visually invasive, if that makes sense. But I also use the big boy to light the room up. I have a newer softbox as well that's twice the size of this that I um, when I want to blast my entire studio and have this look right here and it they do two different things but that's the main light the second light I have is you see this turquoise kind of blue um, rim light right here those are GVM's 1000s and they just work just fine and then I have a few practicals running behind me as well well more than a few practicals I have two lights that I have hanging from the ceiling the vintage Lowe's uh, bulbs right here that's hanging from the back and also I I have another GVM um, that's hitting the wall that's splashing it pink and I have a PAR right here LED PAR that I got from Sweetwater as well I'm sitting here to blast some blue up and of course we have the James Webb telescope photo here in the background on my computer and my monitor my additional monitor it all adds to the shot it just look really good so I have all of that stuff listed below as well now let's talk about how I color and edit my videos well when I purchased my black magic camera I got DaVinci Resolve for free the big boy the DaVinci Resolve studio and I color and DaVinci Resolve. Most of the time, since my lighting is the same, I actually have a preset LUT that's lined up. Very, just a two-step node there. And we're going to discuss nodes in other videos if you guys are interested in that type of stuff. But I use one to color. And then the next node is for sharpening that I change the color space to lab. And then we proceed to exporting out and delivering out so we can edit in Final Cut Pro. Now I'm filming in 24 frames because I'm being more cinematic nowadays. So, and I bring it to Final Cut and I edit, chop everything up and do all the animation and we have us a video like you guys see here. It's not so complex once you get a system. I film by myself and I have a system and it is fun. It's really fun. So I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check the description below and check out Sweetwater Sound. They're solving a lot of problems for content creators. So um, Sweetwater Sound, you guys are doing an awesome thing. So y'all be sure to check them out in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you won't miss any updates. Also, don't forget to be great and create. This is your boy Archie Beats and I'm signing off.